Hello everyone, my name is Stephen Lever. I'm going to be your tax lecturer for this course. Um, a little bit about myself, I've actually been lecturing tax at UNISA for the past 30 years. So I've got lots and lots of experience in lecturing tax papers. Um, being a 3761 student, this course is only running for the second time. So there's not a lot of huge material for it, but what happens is it's basically a combination of tax 3701 and also 3702, um, the original courses. So um, where we might need some extra examples, I'll be supplementing it with tax 3701, tax 3702, old questions. Um, the, the lectures in the department are people that have actually worked on those subjects before. So I'll be supplementing it with all of that information as well. Um, what you can see here is they've actually given you a tuck letter um, and they've discussed what you should be doing each and every single week. It's not up to me to necessarily decide on how much time to spend on stuff. I'd rather use the lecturer's guidance to do that. So what they've got here is they've got a module specific study plan. This is in Tut Letter 101. It says you have approximately 34 weeks of study, excluding a few weeks for revision purposes. It says the module commences on 25 January with week one and ends on 17 May 2021 with the second part of your course. Okay, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to actually just show you what I'm going to be doing with this. Um, I'm going to just open up a thing for you. So I've set up my tax planner like this, following their thing. So first 17 weeks, that, 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 gross income, special inclusions, exempt income, general deductions, special deductions and allowances, going all the way up with capital gains after that, and then revision for the test. You'll also see I've put in an assignment week for my lectures, assignment 1 due 30 April, Monday 26 April, I've put that in, running all the way up to the week of May 17th with all of the topics themselves. So, What's going to end up happening is I will follow the UNISA timetable specifically all the way up here. There's assignment 1 due 30 April, all the way up to revision for the test. What it basically says as well is that you're going to actually commence the course again on 21st of June 2021 with week 18. And there's a full outline of stuff to be done from week 21 from week 18 all the way through to the end of the year. Once again, what I'm doing is I'm actually going to continue your course, okay, from June 21. If your test is a little bit earlier, I might commence it a bit earlier than that just to push it so that we can actually get this stuff finished a little bit earlier. And what will end up happening is I followed their timetable specifically all the way through and it finishes on the 11th of October. I don't know when your exam is at this point in time, but that's, I'm following their outline complete. Where do you find that case that I was showing you? If you're working on a computer, you're going to Google Classroom. You'll click on that. If you haven't got the app, just download that app from the Google Store. And in your classroom, tax 3761 online. And what's going to happen, you'll see that, as far as this is concerned, there are a couple of parts that you might find. So, there's a stream. Whenever I want to communicate with you, I'll play something on the stream. You guys can also communicate with me, ask me questions. I'll go through the stream and I'll be only too happy to help you with it. In the classwork section, you'll find all classwork. You will find the pacer inside this classwork section itself. And you can find any material in here, classwork, you want to communicate me, with me, you can communicate in the stream itself. Going back to the pacer. I will put material into a material links column. What you can do is you can simply log on to that material links and you can download material. Videos accompanying it will be in the video link section. For each video that I've got, 
there will be a certain number of minutes that's allocated for it. I will also give you questions to do, and there will be questions allocated in those minutes itself. This is my CTA tax pacer. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like once something has actually been put in for a week. The way that I do stuff is I tell you what work I think you should do in a particular week itself. So you'll see that there's an instruction video. The instruction video runs six minutes for this week of, for this session. What I try to do within the instruction video is I try to tell you exactly what it is that I believe you should be doing during the week itself. So what happens is any notes would actually be included inside. Yeah, in this material links, you'd simply go down, click on the link for it, and it would open up the link. This is a tag sheet for CTA students because CTA students, what happens with their studies is they get to take a cycle legislation handbook in. They, if there's a set of notes, there'd be a PDF of the set of notes. So this is, this is what the notes would look like. Full set of notes available for you guys to have a look at, color coded. You'll see my illustrative examples are always in blue. You'll see questions are in red. And what happens is, as with most courses, I don't like you to be able to see the solutions while we're working through stuff. So if I do give you a teaching example to do, what will actually happen is that there'll be a separate set of notes with all the solutions in them. And the solutions are normally in purple. So you'll see, they're the solutions. So there's the suggested solutions to all of the teaching examples in a separate document. So solutions normally separate. Within the notes itself, I don't like to give you long videos. I like to actually do a concept in a video. So if you have a look, this is donations tax. Video 1.1, donations tax introduction. Video 1.2, common misunderstandings. Video 1.3, link between donations, remuneration and dividends. Down here, requirements. Requirement three, requirement four, all of that. With the number of minutes next to each one. Now what I do is I color code videos. The ones that are color coded in blue are the ones that I believe are absolutely essential for you to watch. The ones that are color coded in yellow, I think are important, not as important as the blues, and the other ones are the least important. So you can always see just how important I think it is for you to actually do stuff. What I will try to do with you is I try to give you five or six hours of work to do during a week. And what will happen is I will give this in the session, in the instruction video for the week as to what work I think you should actually cover in that week itself. If I give you a teaching example, generally you'll see next to them, this is how many minutes to do the example, whereas, whereas you can go see the solution to it by looking at the video next to it. So within here, this has got video 1.8 requirement for an essay resident. If you click on it, a YouTube video will pop up. You can make it bigger by popping thing in there. And what will happen, you'll see at some stage, I'll be going through the teaching example over here. So, so you'll see there's the teaching example that I'm going through. It'll be part of the video that's next to it itself. All of that stuff is there. And believe it or not, that's one week's work for a CTA student with different material there. I'll give them about six hours a week. For you guys, I'll probably average it out to between four to five hours a week. But generally, when I ask you to do a question, I will have a um, I will go through the solution with you in a video, should you have any problems with stuff. If you get something right and you don't need to go through the whole video, that's one thing. Sometimes it might just be better to go find that part of the video where you made a mistake after you mark your solution. So this is how your paces will look. So just for you guys to actually just have a look at. Moving on. Guys?